Hello YouTube. So I just did my exile guide and now I got to show you some gameplay with them obviously. So we're going to be doing this champion level mission in the Warrens. We have a comp right here. We have an inquisitor who is running speed, stun percentage, and then accuracy. We have a rescuer. This is sadly not my good rescuer. This is my secondary one because the first one's in the sanitarium. But he's running healing, speed, HP, and then more healing. We X out, we're going with a DPS style. So we're running speed, or running accuracy damage, speed accuracy damage, and then the good old ancestors pen for crit damage. And then I'm trying to, I'm going to try and do Mother Talon. So I'm running the Falconer, who already has marked by the flock, which I think is good because that means uh, one of these other three have to get it. And then we're running speed damage crit. Uh, this thing, which is way too many things to say. And then we're going to be using a friendly skill buff prop 20%. That sounds really dumb, doesn't it? Friendly skill is on the Falconer. Man, what's she going to do? Just adapt every turn? Wow. You read my mind. She is going to adapt every turn. Uh... To make sure I actually bring fucking torches. I'm prone to not do that. Not really. I'm not that bad. I'm not prone to it. But. Anyway. So. The two ways I outlined in my class video. Which you should definitely watch before this. Because this is how to play the exile part two. Is there's the DPS style. Where you start in row four. You flank forward. And then you. Just uh, split until the battle ends. The reason why you don't use... I'm not using the Patient Blade. Which I would I would consider running. Which moves you back to on every kill. I don't use this. Because hallway fights are so quick. That you're just like... Just kill them. Once you're in row 2, you just split and kill them. It's really not that big of a deal. Um, the other way to play him is as a... Damage Reflection Tank, which I'm apprehensive to run. Fucking great. Because it's very dangerous, especially on a long champion mission. In the Warrens. It's like, it's, this is some pretty dangerous shit we have going on here. Alright, first fight. Swine Skeever needs to die. If you ever see a Swine Skeever, just kill him. You need to kill him. Alright. That was good. That was good. Because what I could have accidentally done is pushed him in the row one where he can't flank and she can't hit him. So. You're just going to miss. You're going to get your repose. 15. That's okay. Minus speed. Alright. Friendly skill. 20% prot. Ooh, man, I have 20%. Oh, man, I have 40%. Oh, man, I have 60%. Ooh. Alright. Uh, I didn't want to go for the debuff. Rather, just go for the buff speed. Fuck you. Yep, this is why I don't like this quirk. Which I talked about on my quirk video. Man, I'm going with all the shameless plugs. Uh, we are going to try and stun. Really? Uh, 140, 175. So a 10% chance to have that not work. And that's what we got. I don't like this. I don't want the 54 HP guy being guarded by a 31 HP guy. If this was a damage reflection tank, this would be an epic fail. Like, an extreme fail. Um, alright. Since you can't do anything and you still have 80 prot, I guess we'll just shoot you. 16 critter will be like 24, yeah. I don't know, if he's going to use Goring Flight, which is not the worst ability he could use. Good. This is fucking annoying. I that's why I don't want this. 150, 65. We're gonna well struck. get rid of this, and now we're gonna kill you. 
He's so dangerous. He just needs to die. Alright, I was going to Sunder with the two targets, but now I'm just going to split and then I'm going to crit kill. So like I just said in the... Uh, while we were loading into the mission, the Exile is actually quite simple to play in this mode. He kill, uh, you, you flank, and then you kill. Uh, what? He, I don't really care about you, honestly. I'm glad that I didn't move, because I need to kill this guy quickly as well. You're fucking ridiculously bad, bro. Fuck me. Alright. Uh... Now what I could do is I could hope that um, he goes first and then would hit him, but I don't want to risk that because he's he'll probably have to heal. Actually no, because I have stuns. All right, we're just gonna. This is also why I actually don't want high speed on my exile is because if he had high speed, he would clear the mark and then the falconer wouldn't get her. Uh, Mark bonus, 13 to 19, 11 to 15, all right. Sometimes it's good to check to see if Sunder will actually do more damage. If he had more prod, it probably would. Fuck you. That was a useless ability. I don't know what that does. Two over four? All right, I guess we'll just have to... Decisive all right, well, that'll just die. Uh, you can't do anything useful. Like, you'll do no damage. I'm gonna go for the stun. Which will give me the mark. And then there we go. Slowly. Gently. This is how a life is taken. My big problem as a player is I brought a trinket on the falconer specifically for regening, uh, for having 80 prot, and I'm forgetting to use it. That is my problem. All right, I'm gonna start skipping hallway stuff so then this video doesn't take fucking eight years to upload. We're just gonna kill ya. I hope you're seeing a pattern here. I don't have gold, and I just dropped 750 gold. Fuck me. So I hope you're seeing a pattern with how to play this guy. It's quite simple. The damage reflection way is much more, um, I don't know, hard to gather. This is a hard fight. Um, these are, this is actually, this is like a boss fight battle right here. Oh, fuck. Okay. So this guy heals. This guy has constant repose because he's a Dick. I need this guy to die, and you're a bitch, but you are low priority. Okay, so what? I have a chance to stun you, which I think I need to do. Okay. You you need to miss everything. Oh, you didn't. Okay. All right. I need to start using the fucking prot on her, because that's the whole reason I brought the trinket. Thank god flank does minus speed debuff. Otherwise, I don't know what I'd do. Going flight dodge. That's amazing. Okay. Don't heal him, you fucking cunt. 10 prot 5 accuracy? Ah! I didn't do it again. I literally didn't do it. Okay. Uh, we are going... We can't stun. So we're going to rallying shout. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. Great job, bro. Nice. I hate that sound. The Wilbur sound? It's fucking obnoxious. That's not fair. I keep forgetting I don't play like a four. Oh, come on! Four? Four. Really? Really? You're a six. Okay. I am going to Tides of War. 
and then do that. That wasn't a great move. Oh my god. I think my I think that was actually a backfire. I need to get stunned. Fucking ridiculous. Alright. You need to not die. Fuck! And I'm still forgetting to use the thing. I'm s uh, This is why I don't take this, because I'm just going to forget to use it every time. This is cunty behavior. Alright, no healing. And Sunder moves back, so now I can... I'm going to get fucked. He's going to cripple them, and I'm fucked. Don't crit. Okay, you just do 23 damage anyway. Holy shit. Okay. And I still didn't do it. I'm... Oh my god. I'm so bad. Alright, stun. Uh... Excuse me. Thank god. Thank the lord. Okay. Okay, you're gonna go back. Okay, we're gonna stress heal off. We're gonna heal off these guys instead of going forward with the fight. You Now I know what to do. This does actually stack up to five times. So after your fourth time, you, you prox, prot caps at 80. So you need to know what you're doing. Uh, three to six, three to six. All right, we'll just do that. All right, get the crit off. All right. How are you ten speed? What? And now the true test. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm sundering because I'm he. I'm scared of him dying. These nightmarish creatures Holy can be shit! Can be beaten. Fuck! What is this? I don't, I don't like that. Oh my gosh! I'm not going into a fight with you on six HP. All right, we're camping. Gathered close in time. Uh, we'll use for food. And I don't have any way to heal. All right. You're gonna take that. Prevent nighttime. Accuracy and crit. So I'm gonna give that to you. You need accuracy. Two. Your accuracy crit or your that. Oh no, my no, the enemy. The match is oh broken. what? Oh shit! Amazing star is born. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Alright, well, this is, this is, uh, not the content you were expecting to see. I'm so dicked. Yes. Stress for incantation. Good. Good. Do it. I don't care. Please just go. Just go. Just go. Heal. Okay. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Don't crit. Holy sh fuck. This is not good. This is real bad. Real, real, real bad. Okay. Fuck! Off! I'm so screwed. This dude's dead. He's so fucking dead. Shit! Alright, you need to crit. You need to crit that guy. I don't give a fuck about stressful incantation. I can heal stress, but I can't heal 11... HP. Wounds of war can be healed. See, stressful incantations like half gone. It's fine. Fuck off. 
Fuck off, genuinely. Okay. 15? No, you need to be higher. They're gonna target him because he's marked. Egg, if you got a crit, you'd be fucked. Fan is back at it again. Uh, I don't have. A, I can't use marks because I can't hit the damsel. I'm gonna kill somebody. Stupid ass vulture. Speed 11. All right, you're on 2 HP. That's great. That is great. Do I dare hit the vulture? No. No, I don't. <laughs> Stop being guarded, you cunt. And flick stress. It's likely not even going to hit anyway, so I'm just going to buff accuracy and damage. I did the same thing as just hitting him. Okay, now it's time to sunder. Yo, fuck off, bro. 61. 61. Good. Why didn't you hit the marked guy? Get genuinely fucked. Okay, now you need to stress heal. Sedated. Ninety-four, eighty-nine. Need the tides of war, otherwise I've failed. Thank God. Okay. Fuck. That was hard. Journal. Remind yourself that overcome is a slow and insidious killer. Bypass stealth. That's cool. Good, 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 good. He's on 1 HP. I hope he grits. Oh, he dodged. Damn, that, man, that sucks. Alright, quick little thing. Uh, one of the fights that I did off screen. So, you know, you've seen the uh, the guys that are red and ha with the gladiator helmets that I always have a post on. So, one thing I did is he was the only guy left. And it was my falconer's turn. He was in row 1, so I couldn't use uh, the shot. And I could have used Eye Thief Ravage here, but I didn't because every time he hits his repost, he gains 50% damage. So by not uh, allowing him to get the repost off, he doesn't buff himself. So that means on his next turn, he's actually weaker. So by, uh, I think I just moved. So by skipping my turn and not doing damage, I ended up saving myself HP. Am I going to camp to get three stress off? No, I'm not. Alright, so my level... Three or level six exile is uh, he got a disease, which means I get to run the level four one now. But I'm actually happier with that because I'm not as scared of running the damage reflection tank. So, like I said in my class review video, we got 50% damage reflection, 100% damage reflection, 40% more damage taken. Turns out this guy, the Owl Rune, can give a target 80% damage reflection. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Thirty percent pro. I don't actually care because um, I think that's a. I think that's still a buff. But we'll see how that goes. That guy's actually a decent stress healer as well. He's got quite havoc, but not quite as good. So on him, we're doing speed damage and, and speed accuracy. Got this. Adder set, and then uh, speed health. I guess this uh can show you blight chance. Bunch of shit. Just pause the video. And on my Vestal, I'm running a Vestal instead of a Rescuer. Uh, I know she's level 6, I don't have any low-level healers. Actually doing the Bypass Stealth Mission, or Medallion, that we got last thing last time. We got uh, for more speed and more healing. I'm going to go into the Cove. More damage. Alright, we'll see how this goes. 60% raw time to provoke, that's flat damage. I'm not going to, uh, not going to try the buff just yet, because I want to see how much it does on its own. 
Alright, bro, hit him. Hit him. Do it. Alright, you know. You know, that's all. It's okay. It's okay. He's a muscle, get the debuff. Even though. Alright, you do six blight. I think, I think it's actually buffed. Nine, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I want to see how much damage he reflects on his own. Uh, nice. Okay. Alright. Awesome. Gotta love how that snail can, uh, give you the debuff even though it's... Okay. Uh, we're going to... Fuck that guy, I guess. Rather have my front you get hit. This groupers in the back hit the back, groupers in the front hit the front. Good, yeah, buff his damage, do it. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna... Smack. And then I'm gonna... Alright, he's dead. Come on, this grouper needs to... Fuck off, come on! You guys, this is a great build. He doesn't even get hit. Will never die. Yeah, bypass stealth. Bitch. Oh, good. It doesn't de stealth. I might want it to. Okay. Hit him. Hit him. You know what? We're just gonna move. Yeah. Well struck. <laughs> he died on his own turn. But in two attacks, I have taken 31 damage. Which is uh, understandably not good. Whatever. Stealth who? That was actually a smart move, I guess, because you can only the wounds of war use the uh, the cut from each one. Alright, you're dead. Bitch. Alright. So that's that in action. Plays pretty great, don't it? Will he hit the guy with the mark? No, he doesn't, which is why marking yourself is usually not even that effective. The guy on one HP does it. Yeah. I did the buff. 30% prot. Not sure how that works. Not sure if you can get more than 100% damage reflection. TBH. I guess we'll see. Probably shouldn't be hitting these people like that. Alright, you're gonna die anyway, so I might as well just do that. Oh my gosh. This is also showing why this build isn't as effective, because if he's not getting hit, then it's kinda useless. I guess you could run this with like an anti who does a uh, forced guard with protect me, but even still, like, this is why I don't like classes like that. 14, and you don't do any actual damage with that attack, so you don't even get. Yeah, one. Fucking great. This is why you don't see me running uh, this build as much just not as effective overall because you're relying on him being hit he's even marking himself and it's not working but it is it's pretty meme i think if this was on uh, the right fight it would be really this tries on the profit all right let's, let's go through the bosses necromancer no actually i mean necromancer maybe because a necromancer hits multiple people with every uh thing but he doesn't do that much damage so probably not Prophet? 
you're I'm not liable if he dies. Swine God? That could work. Also not liable if he dies though, especially to fucking Wilbur. He'd probably die to Wilbur more than the Swine God. Uh Flesh wouldn't recommend. Mm, what's next? The the fuck's in the wheel? The cannon? No, is the cannon you don't even if you're good, the cannon doesn't fire, so it doesn't matter. The hag? Not really, he'd probably get thrown in the pot and then be useless. Like honestly. The uh crew. Also not really. The crew doesn't do that much damage anyway. And the siren also no. So I guess good on the prophet, good on the swine god. But what is good on the swine god? Being honest with you. That's kind of a stupid metric to have. So too will resistance. Yeah, I just don't see this being that viable. Like shambler. Not good. Not good in endless mode because you're just gonna die all the time. I guess this is good against high pro. I fuck fuck these dudes. I guess this is good against. Oh, you stun too. Damn it. Great. Um, I guess I'll just whack you. Like, I guess this is good against high prot targets. Because then you, like, a thing from the stars is I might actually be good against because no, nobody hits them. Alright. And then if they miss. Oh, he missed! Even with zero dodge, he still missed. This is just not effective. Probably shouldn't even be sunning. And then you're doing. Then the other reason this doesn't work is because you're doing stuff like. Stun, which takes away enemy actions, which means you're not damage reflecting because they're not acting. Six to nine or eight to thirteen. Yeah. Fucking Sunder just isn't even good enough on 50% prop, which is a shame. So I don't recommend this in most cases. It's really just. Which is which kind of sucks. I still stand by that it can work. It just needs the it just needs the right uh. Just, uh fucking hell. And this guy does no damage. He does ar arterial pinch, which does like one damage. You don't reflect bleeds, so there's no point. I'm more disappointed by this. The more I. I'm using it, honestly, which is a not a good thing to feel. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. This could just be bad luck. Like, you know, you could go in, and then everybody hits your exile. But that's not what I'm getting right now. And I don't want to bring a hero that could fail as hard as this. I already have one of these. <clears throat> Like, I want my heroes to work all the time. Okay, this is like the perfect thing. Stun the back. Alright, we're gonna stun the back ones, because the back ones hit the back people. But I want the exile being hit. Alright, we're, we're even gonna do the buff. This is also counterintuitive. Why do you give Prot for damage reflection? I don't understand. Oh, that works. Good. Six. Takes eleven. Nice. It would be more if there was fucking not brought there. Eight, ten. <laughs> now that's where it's worth it when a guy kills himself on his own turn. A decisive that is where this is fun. Alright, you're dead. Probably should have stress healed. Wait, no one has any stress. Okay. Slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiven. 
giving. Um. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow yeah. and insidious. Notice how I'm not using charge or track in either of these two builds, because I don't think uh they're wor really worth using. If you didn't see my uh, comment, which I, I turns out I was I had a couple of mistakes in my only the first, test. first video, which is that home. this reprimand uh, is not good for the crew because it's stressed out by the hero, which means as if they're afflicted, which I think actually makes it better because makes it if anyone's ever afflicted you use this. I don't like giving them stress, but hey, having them not do it's good in the long run nice um and then track just makes it so if you have anybody do uh, a blight if there's a blight or bleeding enemy at all and then your your buddy does a non-lethal attack they all get marked they don't actually have to blight or bleed with their attack which i still makes it marginally better but not very good so overall i hope what you've seen is that it's just <laughs> this isn't as great the damage reflection is too reliant on too many things to really be any good. He needs to get hit. He needs to not be with a stun party because stuns make him not get hit. He needs to not be in things that will just be crit strung. <laughs> um, so I guess the hour rune there was good. But at the same time, not getting crit means you're also not as effective. So it's really not. It's like it's too reliant on too many bad things happening to, to maximize it. So I think what you should do is you should follow what I was doing in the Warrens and go for flanks and then going into split. You could run pl patient blade if you want. If you know you're going into a boss fight and you need to f like uh, if you want for necromancer or prophet, it's probably actually not as good to do that because you're not going to get any kills. If you're going necromancer, I would say maybe run patient blade. Um, maybe running hag because what you could do is you could flank the hag then uh, have someone mark the pot, kill the pot you go back and then keep doing that that could be useful uh, in endless mode that's what I would do I, was, I would flank, kill and then go uh, back and then flank again so overall, uh, sorry for my ramblings here I hope this has been helpful I think gameplay is really one of the better ways to show how a class is played. I don't like doing it in my guide videos because they take too long and YouTube sucks and sometimes processing just doesn't work. Like video, I've tried to upload a one video like four or five times and it's just not working at all. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with it. It might be the file, but probably YouTube because YouTube is a shit. So I'm going to do this separately. I'll try and always... Uh, get out videos on time like around the same time like a couple days after like if i'll you know i'll do a homunculus one and then two days later i'll give you homunculus gameplay and then they'll go hand in hand but anyway i hope you guys have a great day great night wherever the hell I'll see you guys around